All right. We are live with Genshin Impact once again. This time, no event. Well, maybe. I might do some beetle battles at the end because this is the last day for it. But today is a sole focus, similar to how I did Elon before. I'm going to do another character today. This character doesn't tie into... Well, he might tie into the next event, so... Might be good to do, uh, do his character story. But it's Albedo. I'll be doing Albedo today. I already set myself up in Mondstadt because that's where we need to go. And... I haven't done much... Uh, off stream, just a little bit. Like, I did a Zemeru character's, um, character story. And I'm about to do another one. I think Zemeru and. I think the Zemeru characters I'm not gonna do on stream because of. Since they're newer, people already seen them. Some people haven't seen these yet, even though they're quite old, and you can get them at any time. But yeah. As you can tell, we're in Mondstadt. I switched back to Wind for this. And I'm going with my five-star team. My five-star character team. That seems like a familiar character. Hopefully no issues today, by the way. Let's see what's going on over here. Huh. Looks like Timaeus isn't here today. Customers? Oh, um, pardon me. Are you looking for Timaeus? Oh, okay. So when t when the trading card game came out, when that game came out, or the game mode for for the trading card game came out, uh, she was one of the main characters for it. Same with Fischl. Did not expect this is, would be how we actually meet her, though. Did not expect that at all. No, no. Just strange for him to not be around. Paimon always sees him standing here. I see. He was called away by Albedo a little while ago. I was called over to attend to the store. I'm Sucrose, Albedo's assistant. If you have any alchemy-related queries, you could always ask me. I do my best to help. Um... I don't know if this is... I think this is after we originally meet Albedo. When you originally meet Albedo, it's in the Dragon Spire event. When Dragon's... Or not Dragon Spire, Dragon Spine. When Dragon Spine was originally added, and it was a whole ordeal. That included Bennett and Alua. So, I don't know. I think this is after. So, technically, we already know Albedo at this point. But this is, I guess, our first meeting with Sucrose. Huh? D do I look nervous? M my apologies. I don't get out too often. I'm usually in the laboratory where there aren't many others to talk to. If you need any help, just call my name. If not, I'll... I'll be reading a book. Over there. Mm -hmm. Thanks! No worries, we're all clued up on the basics of alchemy, aren't we? Hey, aren't you the legendary traveler? The one who repelled Storm Terror? I've heard so many stories about you. Always wanted an opportunity to research you up close. <laughs> what do you mean, research? Uh, sorry. Don't mind me. What am I saying? Still, you'd definitely be able to help Albedo. It is you, after all. There's that name again! Albedo! 
Is he also an alchemist in Mondstadt? Oh, never mind. Never mind then. This is our first meeting. I wonder if you do this before you do Dragon Spine. Before you're supposed to do the Dragon Spine event. Or they reworked our first meeting with him in this. Apologies. I never introduced him. Albedo is the Knights of Favonius' chief alchemist. He's also Timaeus and my teacher. But Paimon's only ever seen Timaeus teaching alchemy. So that means Albedo is a teacher teacher? Yes. He's dedicated himself to investigating the truth of this world and has made many an important breakthrough. We often get alchemists coming to Mondstadt from all over Tevat, seeking his help. They say that the subtlest of guidance from Mr. Albedo helps him to solve the most unfathomable of problems. Wow! Paimon didn't know he was such a big deal! Mm-hmm. Still, it seems that he's encountered a problem in his research recently. Every time I see him, he has a concerned look on his face. I'm sure that Albedo would love to hear about your incredible exploits. I know it would bring him lots of new inspiration. Albedo is a true gentleman. He'll be sure to pay you back in equal measure for helping him out. I will say, hopefully, I don't know how long this is going to be. I'm going to try to do the whole story like I did with Elon. And then I'm going to try to do commissions after. If I don't do commissions after, don't worry about it. I don't see why not. Testing the limits of living beings' capabilities is one of Albedo's areas of research, after all. Albedo and Timaeus will be conducting research in the mountains right now. I'd love to take you both to see him, but somebody has to attend to the store. I'm afraid you'll have to go to the entrance to the pass and look for him by yourselves. Look out for a refined gentleman with the presence of a true scholar. And... Um... Sorry. That's the best I can do. You'll have to do your best. Hey, stop worrying! We got this! I'm guessing she's talking about Dragon Spine, actually. Sucrose is a whole lot less nervous once she gets talking about alchemy yep. and research, huh? Is that what all researchers are like? I'm guessing this story came out. Anyway, let's go and look for Albedo. I'm guessing this story came out when Dragon Spine was released, as well as uh. As you can tell, I have already fully explored Dragon Spine. Well, not fully explored, but explored a lot of it. But I guess like this is when Dragon Spine was released, Albedo re was released, of course, and. You did this before you did the Dragon Spine event where you get the swords and where you fight a fake Albedo. Or at least a Albedo that doesn't use Geo. Because that. Uh, there's another Albedo that uses uh, Ice Cryo.
So, I'm back. Okay. So, in the past, I looked up how this game looked as it evolved. Like, the map evolving. And it's quite interesting because, um... When Dragon Spine was not added, I wonder if this little entrance was. Like, was this little entrance here? But, of course, like Pymon will tell you, we'll score this later. And then when it was at, it's interesting that the game started out with both leeway and... Like, basically, you could go all the way over here. And then Dragon Spine is just... It says Dragon Spine in a empty spot. And... Uh, you can't go to it. And it was like this big, like, cut-off section. And I don't think you could go to the mu Musk Reef either. I, I don't know when that was added, but... But yeah. Uh, and then this was added. Before we... Before... This was the last update to Leeway, I think. Or no, this was the last update for Mondstadt, and then... We went to Inazuma, and then after the Inazuma updates, we eventually got the Chasm, and then Samiru. And then, of course, we, we're getting the Desert updates before we get to Fontaine. Which I find a little interesting, because, uh... Where is it? So, apparently... Klee did this. Blocked this section off. And now we go this way. So, I wonder when this is going to be added. So, we're not done with Monset fully just yet, because clearly there was something here before. Uh, I'm going to teleport right here. to make more sense. Oh, interesting. Busted. Tap. 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 Gotcha. Sounds being weird. That's a, wor a little worrisome. Also, I have uh, leveled up. Elon more, so she is more of a character I can use now. Like, more often. A little side thing. Now it's a free... Do that. Like, I did all the stuff in Dragon Spine involving that like center tower. Without like a four star bow, she's doing like her and her ultimate doing it. Uh, she's doing that damage. Show them right now. Emerge, a sight to behold. Right now. I'm leveling up Klee, or Chi Chi at the moment. With the wind! 
I ain't leave this guy. Actually, he's, on, he's halfway dead. So. I don't care if you're... Busted. I actually don't know how good Chi Chi is, by the way. I I will say until I got the hang of Dragon Spine, Dragon Spine is like annoying to be at because of the whole cold thing. It's interesting that there's a pillar thing like that atop of Dragon Spine, and there's one in the in the chasm. Like, deep in the underground of the chasm. Like, what are they for, and why is there two of them? Wait a minute! I told you already, I don't go in for that kind of thing. I've got more important matters to attend to. I don't know if this is where you originally meet Ro Rosaria, but this is the first time I'm seeing her in the story. And hey, it's Barbara. <laughs> oh, but this event has commemorative significance. The church hopes that all sisters will be present. Hopes? That's odd, because I don't recall a fulfill the hopes of others clause in my job description. I... Uh, I mean, sure, but... But what? You're the event organizer, aren't you? Do you not find it the least bit odd? What do you mean? This far out from Mondstadt at this hour? <laughs> Even if you set out right now, I'll wager you'd still miss the opening ceremony. Hmm. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe this is someone's grand plan to make a fool out of you. Huh? Well, th that can't be! People aren't like that! <laughs> Evidence decides what people are like, not your feelings. <sighs> Maybe you're a little too trusting of other people. Don't fret, nobody's gonna blame you if you go back empty-handed. I can't imagine anyone else was delusional enough to think I was gonna show up. But if you dally any longer, you really won't make it. You're right. It's a very important commemorative event. If I'm late, then... Uh, right, I've got to get going. Bye, Barbara. Hmm. Seems like that sister's an expert in making people believe anything she wants. 
Okay, this is the original time you meet Rosaria, I guess. This is how you originally meet Rosaria. So that's funny, you meet two four stars and a five star in this story. Interesting. I thought I heard something. Who are you and why are you eavesdropping? We better watch out. She seems like a dangerous villain. Or a trickster at best. Oh, really? I'm a member of the long-standing Favonius Church. You're an eavesdropping pixie from who knows where. And you think I'm the trickster? Wait, she heard that? Paimon was whispering so quietly. And as for this outlander you seem to be following... Uh, huh. So it's you. The honorary knight that saved us from storm terror. Well then, given your status, I won't press you on your reasons for eavesdropping. Also, I don't have Sucrose, but I do have her. That's why she's in that altered outfit, because I have her in the secondary outfit. Otherwise, depending on your answer, I could have arrested you on the spot. What? Do the Sisters of Monsta have the authority to arrest people now? We can't go turning a blind eye to hidden dangers, can we? Why shouldn't sisters have a sense of justice? Hmm, that doesn't sound right. But Paimon can't think of a good comeback. Let's talk about you. What are you doing in the mountains? If it's him you're after, I made a point of noting his tracks. Many people have made their way up after the snowstorm. Let's hope they're still there. So, are you also looking for him? No, this is just a professional habit of mine. I sensed elemental traces in these tracks. Never hurts to be vigilant. I couldn't care what you think. Come on then, I'd like to see what he's up to anyway. I don't get Ros Rosaria at all. Rosaria said there were elemental traces in the tracks. They should show up pretty clearly with elemental sight. Whoopsie. Taking that. A reward on the road. You just made that easier for me, dude. Disappear. Have a little taste. Bye. Oh, there's more of you. <laughs> Another test of Orders given. Orders received. Rise. I don't know what they have to do guys besides like target. Emerge. Right now. Always watching. Free up. <laughs> I tickled him. The wrong test subject. Don't tell me that's everything. Oh, did I get all the? Huh? Did I get all the tri Did I get all the chests there on the mountain? Also, don't tell me those still pop up even though I turn them off. I think that was a trophy, but I turned the notifications off, but for some reason they still semi pop up on stream, which kind of sucks. Especially when I get the God of War. Interesting. You know, little pixie. Your ability to appear and disappear at will is very interesting. Uh, yeah? After committing a crime, you'd be able to leave the scene without a trace. You're so suspicious! Why is Paimon a criminal in your example? So... One thing I'm slightly concerned with is I do ap when I get back to God of War, I do apologize if those little notifications still pop up, especially if they pop up during like a very important scene. 
Because I swear, it I thought turning them off would be, uh... I, I guess they, they're quicker now, I guess. They don't appear... They... Don't appear that much, but still, I'm kind of worried that they're going to appear during a very important thing. Gotcha! Right here. Stay right there. You need a hurry up in this quickly. Oh god. Harden up. Oh god. Cold. Well, that's the problem. This is not good. This is not going well. Let's not waste time. Game's up. Time's over. Fuel slow. Take it easy. Wind blade. That takes care of that guy. Oh god. Okay, that's bullshit. You knew where I was gonna pop up. Disappear. Gonna heal. Crap, I can't use their ability just yet. Right here, right now. Emerge. I don't have a claymore. Gotcha. Might have to change teams because change uh, teams because of uh who because this is not a good team for these guys. Come on out. Right now. Right here. A sight to behold. Now, right here. Wind blade. Yes. There we go. It took the big guy out of the way. Now it's your turn. With the wind. You're walking right back into it. Bust it. Wheel of life. Emerge. <laughs> this is a problem. There's no way that I don't have a fire character. Here. Right now. I have to find a place to heat up after this. Where you go? Oh, he's up there. Use this. 
this close now to find fire before my characters <sighs> really start dying nope that doesn't count <laughs> Stone for a little while. <gasps> it's getting colder and colder. Rosaria, aren't you freezing? Me? <laughs> I'm all right. I got used to operating in adverse conditions a long time ago. Huh? Seems like there's more to being a sister in the Favonius Church than Paimon realized. Well, she also uses a cryo vision, so that could be part of it. Oh yeah, like, uh, I swore Dragon Spine not that long ago, and I found his little campsite from the event that was in Dragon Spine. So I would not be surprised if he's at that. I might be a problem later. Gotcha. Come on out. Right here. Right now. A reward on the road. from this world? Oh, 
Oh, there he is. Is that Albedo? Why would he hang around a place like this? The word on the street is he loves painting. He'll hang around anywhere for a good landscape. The views and scenery here are pretty good. Potential paintings everywhere you look. But can't he see those hilly churros? Isn't he in danger? Oh boy. Uh oh. Looks like we startled them. Enough talk. Let's take them out of the picture first. That wasn't hard. Who are you? Why did you alarm them? Thank the gods I'd already completed my painting. Would have been a shame to leave these particular hilly trolls unfinished. What's up with painting hilly trolls? What makes them so interesting? Hmm. I'm afraid the answer isn't easy to explain. If you'd like to have a look at my painting, it may give you a clue. Wow! Look at the detail! But some of it seems to have been done in a hurry. You can find these holy trolls anywhere. Quite boring, in fact. Not worth closer inspection. But take a look at this specimen. The build, the coat... And there's a distinct force at work here. In the cyclical lives of such primitive communities, such unique attributes are an indication of evolution at work. Evolution, the transition from nothing into existence, from the known to the un- it, Hold your horses. Ugh, something tells me we're in for a thesis and I haven't got the stamina. We found your man. I'm headed back. What? Don't you have any questions for him? Hey! Ugh, what a weirdo. So Sister Rosaria brought you. Surprising. And I didn't have time to thank her. But back to the point. From her words, it seems that you were looking for me? Mm-hmm. We met a girl in Mondstadt, Sucrose. She said you were stuck with your research. I see. So Sucrose sent you here. Then, if I'm not mistaken, you must be the honorary knight. You've got the whole of Mondstadt talking. I've heard a bit of everything. Your actions during Storm Terror's attack, your elemental control, and quite a few other mysterious things. I'll skip to the conclusion. There's only one possibility after all. You came from afar. From another world, correct? Yep. Excellent. If I could procure your assistance, I think my research would benefit enormously. Uh, forgive me. This must be confusing. Where should I begin? Hmm... The essence of life? Whoa, whoa! You wanna start with that? Hmm... You're right. Giving a demonstration would be better than trying to explain. For example, awakening life. Breathing new life into fallen leaves. You can do that? Well, he's more than just an alchemist. If you guys know the story of Albedo. However, I have a particular seed in my possession. The method I'm talking about has produced no results. It's like you, in that it hails from another world. Helping it to grow, to bloom... That's the problem my research is up against. That's where I need your assistance. Well, if you're struggling to figure it out, Paimon's not sure we're gonna be much assistance. I beg to differ. I'm unable to comprehend the intricacies of life outside of the known world. But you're not from the known world. By observing and researching you, I may just be able to find a way to get the seed to sprout. I am curious what Paimon is from. Like, how is she this important? Or like, what I mean is like, I found her, but did she 
Was she knocked out as long as we were? Like, where is she from? Uh, shall we just get out of here? This sounds a little freaky. That's possible. But I will do everything in my control to ensure your safety. Time for a change of surroundings. We should be going. There's research to do. Oh, you stuck around, huh? Albedo and that traveler seem to have hit it off. Takes a weirdo to know one, I guess. I wonder, does this constitute a risk to Mondstadt? At some point, I need to get all the red things to power up that uh, tree in the that red tree, so I can. Uh... I think you can get wings from here, and you can get a few other things. the importance will lie in the method, not the endpoint. Using alchemy to awaken otherworldly life into that would constitute a big leap in my understanding of the essence of life. After awakening, even creation may be possible. Uh... <laughs> Still a little difficult to understand? No, Paimon's got a brain. But what's the seed gonna become? Isn't that more interesting than whatever it was you were saying? Well, if it turns out to be a delicious fruit, dinner's on me. Yay! Paimon's holding you to it. <laughs> well, let's just say I, uh, occasionally have to look after a child. Another lengthy explanation, I'm afraid. I suppose it's one of the few non-alchemy-related disciplines I'm any good at. Oh? The subject of my first research was the elements. In this world, manipulating the elements requires a vision. Though I can't see anything resembling one on your person. How you're able to freely manipulate elemental power is something I'd like to ascertain. I've got a few questions in that regard. Firstly, do you have any extra organs? A second heart? A fourth stomach? Things of that nature. Fascinating. And this floating child is... connected to your body in some way? What a stupid question! Can't you see the gap between us? And another thing! It's Paimon, not floating child! I was merely considering the possibility that you were an external organ. Perhaps there is some invisible force connecting you. Oh, that rules out that possibility. I wonder, did Paimon guide the elemental power to you? But that would mean that Paimon's elemental power would be enough to break through a mountain rock at least 10 meters thick, or cause the waterfall south of Springville to flow backwards. Hmm... No, that definitely can't be it. I don't even think Paimon can use elemental powers, but who knows, maybe she's the reason I can. Hey! How would you know anyway? In that case, it would appear that there's no obvious difference between the composition of your body and that of the humans in this world. Given that there's clearly a discrepancy in her research, it seems that only experimentation will yield the answers. Firstly, this mysterious elemental power. I'd like to examine exactly how it manifests externally. Let me lure a few slimes to the area. Perhaps you'd be able to defeat them, using whatever method comes most naturally to you. Huh? Doesn't seem very sciencey. Direct and clear observation are imperative to a good experiment. This is just a simple exercise. 
Naturally, if you require a greater challenge, we could bring in six Oceanids. Slimes! Slimes are fine! Yeah, those other enemies are a bit of a pain. It's interesting, Kaz a cat, so... That... So, each destination seems to have that one section that's separate from the rest. For example, Dragon Spine is part of Mondstadt, hence why it has the Amino statue. But not like it's an extra part of Mondstadt. Leeway has the chasm, that's an extra part. And then for Inazuma, it's that foggy island that I've yet to you know how to clear the fog of. That's their extra part, I think. That or the other section of it. That's uh, where you fight the serpent thing to get the stuff to awaken uh, Ye Miko. That might be that thing's extra part, but I might be wrong. Well, it could be as well. And then uh, Simeru has the desert. Kind of. Like, I feel like the newest part of the desert if it is more of its extra part. Well, prepare yourself. The slimes will be here any moment. Oh, great. I don't have fire. Show them. Emerge. Nothing lasts forever. What a nuisance. Right now, right here, right now. That's not the character I wanted. <laughs> Opening box of Adeptite Trix. Come on out. Emerge. With the wind! Things are about to get dicey. to behold right here emerge feel anything out of the ordinary if you're injured I have a few emergency potions ready excellent according to my observations the manifestation of the external elemental flow is as expected elemental reactions are normal there's nothing out of the ordinary 
Now that we know that the external flow is manifesting normally, let's test the internal flow. Internal flow? How do you test that? It's very simple. I can use alchemy to create a potion that will extract elemental power. If the elemental power is stored or accumulated physically within your body, this potion may elicit an elemental reaction. Sounds kind of terrifying. Don't worry. In the normal course of events, you'd feel some temporary queasiness. No bodily injury. And in the abnormal course of events? If anything unexpected occurs, I've made the necessary preparations. Try not to worry. Well, it's not that there aren't any risks involved. But if there is anything blocking your elemental flow, we'll be able to locate it with this test. Just a warning. If an internal elemental reaction occurs for any other reason, that's a bad sign. Yes, that's an excellent way to think about it. Before we get started, the potion we'll use for the test is missing a catalyst. We'll need to find it. It's a type of ore known as star silver, but unfortunately not all of it is suitable. I'll take you to my campsite. We can gather some star silver ore on the way. I'll point out any likely contenders. All going to plan, we should be able to begin concocting the potion when we get to the campsite. Paimon's still got a few safety concerns, but it seems like there's a silver lining. Let's keep our eyes open. I think I know the campsite. I found it once. Funny enough, I got some star silver Here. on me. Should do for catalyst purposes. See you up there. Sacred name, fortune preserver. Life goes. <sighs> Game's up. Time's over. Get <clears> that. <throat> Be nice if I could fire a bow. Badly, because I'm being very greedy. What luck! This should be enough. Just up ahead. I'll lead the way. <sighs> Before I take care of this last enemy. I'll keep this close. There you go. This is how you would get the dragon spine weapons, but you can't I don't think you can get them anymore. This is my campsite. 
I've added the materials we collected to the concoction. While we are waiting, have a look over here. My assistant Demeas here is helping me with my research. I'm guessing you may have met in Mondstadt already. Hello! I've just gotten hold of the data from your experiment. The report is already up on the board there. Whoa! Look at all the data! You got all these results from one slime battle? <laughs> I wouldn't call them results. Inferences and a few daring guesses, perhaps. I think the most rational direction would be to expound on the phylogenetic relationship between this traveler and the slimes. Hmm, consider. You don't have a vision, but you can manipulate elemental energy. The slimes don't have visions either, yet they too are able to manipulate the elements. Following this line of thought, I'm sure we'll be able to establish a basis in fact. Not bad for a point of entry. But strictly speaking, slimes are elemental life forms. In other words, beings consisting entirely of the elements. A cryoregis vine, or even a whopper flower might be a better analogy. But tracing back the phylogenetic relationships between plants and animals, you might have to trace back to the world's origins. In that sense, things might get difficult, don't you think? Connor? Uh, yes, sir. That sounds correct. After all, we've got our primary data already. This traveler is a visitor from another world. If it turned out that he did have a phylogenetic relationship with this world... Huh. Now that really would be something, wouldn't it? It's interesting because we're able to use the elements, but we can't u call back on our original power. Yet, our sibling still has their original power. Hence the white light that appears from Lumi's outfit. Compared to us, where the white light would be, we have the elemental lights. Ah, it would. <laughs> Apologies. I was so excited to get the data. I'll slow down a bit next time. Speaking of data, to complete our research, we'll need some more. I'll be conducting analysis here for the time being. If you're keen for an update, just come and find me. Great. I'll leave you to it. Hmm. Huh. Looks like the potion's ready. I'll try a little first. If all goes well, I'll hand it over to you. Mm -hmm. In line with my expectations. Ready to drink. Remember to keep calm at all times, and breathe deeply if you feel unwell. I've just tried some. It's in line with my expectations. Remember to keep calm at all times. I'll be noting down all observable results and data points. Hmm. Doesn't sound very rigorous. Surely there's another approach. Also, if the event does come out, I don't know if it'll allow me to do it because I think I'll have to do a Lewis story in order to actually do it. Um, because I'm actually glad I'm doing Albedos and his because I he's going to play a part in the next uh, in the 3.5 event, so it's kind of important that I do this or else he he'll be blocked by this story beat. I'm on fire all of a sudden. I don't know if I did that to myself or it caused me to be on fire. Tasty? You've got a funny look on your face. Oh, it did. It is burning a bit. You said you tried some already. You sure it was ready? What happened to him? Hmm? Oh, this was the result I was expecting. And a very positive one at that. This potion channels elemental power into the body, 
Under normal circumstances, a repelling reaction is to be expected. But if the internal elemental flow is unimpeded, you'll only experience momentary discomfort. Once the flow is complete, there won't be any other effects. So you knew you'd be sick and still drink some? <laughs> it was my own concoction, of course. Only natural for me to be the guinea pig. If you know about what Albedo truly is, you'll understand why he's okay. Perhaps it's just scholarly self-assurance, and it certainly speeds things up. In conclusion, I'd say we have our conclusion. As far as elemental energy is concerned, you're no different from anyone else in this world. Nothing peculiar. This is interesting because, um... We're not from this world, considering Armasol doesn't have memories of us, or like, it doesn't have like, a connection to us like, some others. This is Sumeru. But apparently, Armasol has memories of our sibling, like they actually live in this world. Like they actually came from this world, even though, but it doesn't have memories of us, because we're not from this world. And our sibling shouldn't be too, so something happened to her and soul and our sibling to make it think that it, she's from this world. So the fact that we're nothing different from anyone else is very interesting. Also, I'll explain what Beto is at the end since... If, uh... Because I don't know, I don't have any videos at the moment to explain what he is, but I'll explain it at the end. Aw, Paimon wanted something cooler to happen. Then again, better an ordinary result than a peculiar result. Peculiar results have a tendency to be of the... undesirable variety. The good thing about ordinary is that everything is an object of reference, and everyone understands you. People are the same, they can understand, empathize, encourage, and support one another. When you're sick, a doctor can diagnose you because they are you. When something goes wrong, you can ask people who've made the same mistake for their experience because you are them. But a peculiar person. They don't have much recourse for the things we take for granted. The essence of their life is fundamentally different. For example, a human can't understand the life of a pyro regisfine, or an eye of the storm. Have I explained it clearly enough? To sum up, this has been a positive outcome. Going forward, you can use your elemental power without fear. Timaeus, the results of the new experiment are out. If you could see to collating them. Just a moment, sir. I'll handle it. <laughs> you gave me a lot to consider. Really stretched my limits. I'm thinking a lot clearer now. Oh, having you down as an animal <laughs> wasn't very precise of me. But starting with the premise of an elemental life form? Now that was... Not bad. I think it's an interesting line of inquiry. Whatever the truth of the matter, I'd like your research at the fore as opposed to my judgment. Hmm. You can count on me, sir. I'll extract a result satisfactory to all. Is he trying to join the knights? He's starting to sound like a suck-up. <laughs> uh, what Paimon meant to say was, that's the spirit. Mr. Albedo, say something. Hmm. Before we can proceed with our research, I need to... prepare something. Wait one moment. If you're interested, why not have a look around? It may help to pass the time. Like I said, in the Dragon Spine event, you actually, like, get. Uh, he was basically the event vendor. So. What's funny is that I was here before 
When I came here before, my character wondered what this stuff was. Like, he didn't know who it belonged to. Now that I'm here after talking to Albedo, he now knows what it is. I said, where did Albedo go? An elemental life form from another world. As soon as we have strong evidence, this may end up subverting a lot of alchemical theories. Albedo's research will see huge progress. What is this? Ah, condensed. Here comes Albedo! Let's go see him! I'm back. Did you see anything interesting? Hmm, agreed. I'd love to find a moment to put them all in order. Still, experiments come first. Well, on with the research. There may be significant differences between different worlds. Take Tevat, for example. Here, those with visions can manipulate the elements. But worlds may well exist where only one person is able to do so. Or even everyone. So, uh, leaving elements to one side. Do you possess any... Unique abilities? Ones that don't exist in this world? I can use multiple I think elements. answering this question calls for the same methodology as last time. In other words, time for the next experiment. Basically, well, I did... I was able to summon a... Well, a unique sword. And I had wings at one point. And I don't think anyone can do we have wings. Also, like I said, able to use multiple elements. Even though he can only use four right now, it's going to be five. So. No, no. You shan't be required to exert quite so much effort this time around. Now, see this pillar here? Use your willpower to try and break it. That was your best effort? Hmm. Well, wow. can't be helped, I suppose. What's with the disappointment? Isn't that, like, impossible? Uh, have you tried using your elemental power with food? I don't mean for cooking as such. Uh, rather, channeling your power into the ingredients themselves. I'm curious to see how the taste and texture respond. It may even help with proliferation. It's not just peckish. Peckish. <laughs> I suppose I have a curiosity for things that others find surprising. Anyway, why don't you cook us up a sunshine sprat? I've just finished preparing the recipe. Oh, I got a new one now. Cooking? Paimo was looking forward to more mad scientist stuff. Not only is this recipe a staple for me, it's also worth experimenting with, and highly nutritious. Hmm. Paimon bets you're just hungry. It does sound yummy, though. Okay, Paimon approves! Mm-hmm. Good buddies are always on the same page. I'll leave you to it, then. Looking forward to the results. It's if there's anything that... left over, maybe Timaeus can finish the last morsels. Uh, Paimon doesn't think we'll have that problem. It's funny that we woke up on a beach. I'm gonna channel elemental power into the food. Maybe try the willpower thing again. Where does so, it get these ideas from anyway? Oh boy. Hopefully this doesn't... Let's just do it the old-fashioned way. Hopefully this doesn't cause any issues, because usually cooking seems to cause issues. Also, it seems... It's funny to me that we woke up on a beach, and we did... And we stressed... 
I don't know if we immediately tried fishing or walking around, but it took us pulling out Paimon from the water to start actually looking for the Towers of Seven and stuff. Or the Statues of Seven and stuff. Still, also, the fact that Paimon knew about that stuff is quite interesting. Like, what is... Like, Paimon's clearly from this world, but what is she? Where is it? Do I not have enough? I need fish. I'll be right back. Uh, I think... I'll go to Inazuma. Yeah, I think I bought all the fish in Leeway already. Again, hoping cooking does not mess with anything. Yeah, that I actually don't know how long you story character stories last, especially this one since this one's not much fighting compared to the other compared to Yilons. Oh, come on. I thought this place had fish at it. I think Samaru's does, though. At least Samaru has... Like, you can buy fish from it. If anything, I have to go to the general shop if it's not here. Which it probably isn't because I... Oh wait, there is fish here, good. Thought so.
Again, hopefully there's no issues because like I said, usually when I cook, or I guess when I cook a bunch of things, that's when there's issues. I think this is what he wants. Immediately get out of this. Because the audio keep like messes around when I cook, so that's what I was worried about. Because it's supposed to come out of the controller, and yeah. That was fast. Looking forward to tasting. I mean, testing the results. Hmm. An average outcome experimentally. But you've really brought out the flavor. You seem well-versed in the science of gastronomy. As far as the proliferation hypothesis is concerned, we've come up short. Seems like food presents the same headaches in your world as it does ours. Unless... Could it be that the natural laws of this world are limiting your unique abilities? We just didn't know how to channel elemental power into the food. It's a little more complicated than adding herbs and spices, you know. Not to worry. At least we put some food to good use. No need to feel disheartened. And here's your portion. Enjoy. I can box it up if you like. Woohoo! Thanks! Glad you were paying attention. I can tell that you're good friends. Paimon was keeping an eye on you and your safety during the whole experiment. Not that Paimon would have been able to do much if things had gone wrong. But anyway. Damn. Hey! You were being nice a second ago! But you do have tasty recipes, so Paimon forgives you. And you're right, we are good friends. You have good friends too, right? Good students? Uh, yes. I'm fortunate too, I suppose. Anyway. Moving on to the next experiment. Well, yeah. Sucrose and that guy... Seem, well, he admires you. I think Sucrose actually does like you. There are all manner of alchemical items here. Keeping them in their proper place is a challenge at the best of times. A while ago, I had the misfortune of misplacing a batch. I managed to retrieve the majority, but two vials have been evading me. Animal Crystal Fly Elemental Extract and electrohypostasis powder. Paimon's barely finished eating and you want us to go gathering again? Don't worry if you can't locate them. I was planning to replace them anyway. Though finding them would save me the hassle. If you had, say, a superpower, like night vision or vibratory sensing, lost property would be a thing of the past. I must have dropped them somewhere in the area where you were looking just now. Guess we'd better take a look. Elemental Sight. Oh, yeah! You could use Elemental Sight! I wonder if that's unique to me, Elemental Sight. Hmm. An interesting term. Compelling. See what you can find. I'll be over here. I think Elemental Sight may be the, the thing that we can only use. Possibly. Right? This has got to be it! Still in one piece! Good thing the vial's so strong! Goodness! You managed to find them! Incredible! A thousand thanks! I'm wondering... This elemental site... This is what allowed you to locate the items and find me here on the mountains, correct? Yep! to count as a superpower, huh? Unfortunately, though elemental sight is seldom seen, it is not unheard of in Tevat. Ah. Only a never-before-seen otherworldly power would be of benefit to my research. You mean, we failed again? 
don't be disheartened. This falls entirely within my expectations. Besides, getting these items back, I'd call this a very worthwhile experiment. I have to commend your deduction that the items would contain elemental traces. Right then. Up until now, our research has focused on your otherworldly identity. Our research on your identity as one of us is just beginning. I am curious because technically we never said our like our character has never stated our true identity mean like we never said like people know our characters names and I think our sisters because I think we've said Lumine a lot before but we never said why we're here. We never said why we came to this world. And what... Uh... Why we, we were trying to leave. And... Where we're actually from. To be fair, no one actually asked us that yet. Like, directly. But... It's interesting, our character never... Like, said that information. In essence... The differences between humans are reflected in our intellectual and physical capabilities. Let's start with physical. Looking out from where we're standing, can you see what Sucrose is doing? Well then. And if you jumped from here and landed on that cliff, the one over there, could you see her then? Why is your <laughs> why is your eyebrows get like that? So what about if you planted a single blow on the mountain face here, and it burst into a million fragments? Then could you see her? Hmm. Then I shouldn't get too excited. Still, we'll gain a more thorough understanding with an experiment. I know of a location that will be perfect for a physical test. Please, follow me. Until I find a better sword that like fits my character more besides maybe the PlayStation sword, I'm gonna stick with the crafted one that I have because it kind of match- it matches the color scheme. <laughs> So unless I like pull a really cool sword that fits my character's color scheme, or at least fits my character in general, I'm not gonna worry about switching his sword out. more concerned on the weapons I'm lacking which is I'm lacking claymores and I'm lacking uh, bows because Zinyan still doesn't have a four-star claymore yet and neither does Elon <laughs> Necessarily. Not if you know of a better method, that is. Uh, we have a... We have a glider. Whichever method you choose, the experiment will end when you reach the opposite shore of the lake. I will factor the time expended and your top speed into my comparative analysis. The opposite side of the lake. So, we're gonna be swimming? 
Hey, look, it's uh the Jade Chamber. Without limitations, we complete tasks intuitively, using the method that seems most rational to us. Some of us would be unable to stand the icy waters. Others might find the whole thing rather refreshing. No matter what choice you make, it's all a part of the experiment. For me, every detail is invaluable to the research. Then if you would, please, I eagerly await the results. <laughs> I could just jump and... Wait a minute! While we're busy testing, what exactly are you gonna be doing? Me? Recording data, responding to risks, providing, uh, emotional support. So, if we do decide to go swimming, you gonna dive in with us? No. Unless you're thinking of conducting competitive research? Oh! Uh, forget Paimon said anything. God damn, that abrupt landing. How'd you get here so fast? What the hell? Great work. I've never seen a performance quite like it. Your reputation precedes you, Traveler. The data shows that you're easily outperforming the average citizen in Mondstadt. But you followed us the whole way without breaking a sweat! Me? <laughs> Actually, I used alchemy to cheat a little. But anyway... If it turns out that the natural laws of Tavad do not affect you, I should be able to make various inferences about the otherworldly civilization you belong to. If the natural laws of Tavad do affect you, then I shall be able to make inferences into the kind of evolution that would occur under the absence of such effects. The innumerable possibilities that this could present, the captivating insights, it would be something to savor again and again. But how does this help your research? You've helped me to unravel many of the problems that were holding it back. When we return to the campsite, I should be able to show you something interesting. I may be about to make some analogies between you and a few... unusual specimens. I hope you won't be offended. Gold, petrified trees, a sun eight times the size of our own. The essence of the investigative process is enthralling, but such feelings are inevitably fleeting in nature. I'm willing to pour all my energy into research, and yet specimens are finite. As the unknown transitions into the realm of scientific understanding, the feeling of enlightenment is lost. All these things that start out as objects of fascination end up possessing the prosaic mundanity of a sunseria or a sweet flower. They cease to be noteworthy. Oh, so that's why you wanted to paint those hilly turtles? Because you got to see something new and interesting in the differences between them? Precisely. To quote my exact words from earlier, these creatures are, for the most part, quite boring, not worth closer inspection. There is precious little about them that serves to pique my curiosity now. So after all these experiments, are we gonna be, like, boring to you? Like some basic draft of a sketch? If you think about it, if he knew what hilly trolls actually were, it would be a different situation. Of course not. You have been of great assistance to me, and I will remember this friendship for a lifetime. Now, before we head back to the campsite, there is one more experiment. Intelligence. Follow me. There are some other ruins nearby.
So we we're heading back to the campsite. This is interesting. <laughs> is this an answer from this world? There you go. What the hell is that? Is it a little worrisome wherever this thing is? I think I'm about to find out what this thing is. <gasps> oh, that's a, that's big worrisome. Oh shit. A lot of shit for doing this puzzle. You can figure it out. Try one more time to figure this out. Equal distance.
That didn't seem to work that well. If I do it like this. I think that's the closest I've got. Try it one more time. Damn it, I got stuck on something. Okay, never mind, I figured it out. Okay. Show them. Emerge. Busted. Oh god. Wheel of fire. Wind voice. Right now. Emerge. Disappear. Oh god. Oh no. Can't use your ability yet. Quietly now. Right here. anyone yet so I'm stuck with myself and Chi Chi okay, he's almost dead that was some
I'm unintentionally finding stuff. So, for some, for someone that's just turning in, I am in the middle of doing Albedo's character story. So that's what I've been doing, and I found this puzzle and decided to do it. At the cost of two characters. <laughs> far away. I did not expect it to be this far away. I thought we were having heading back to his camp in the mountain. Ooh, gonna land up there real fast and grab that for the tree. you must have encountered more than a few conundrums during your travels. I'd like to observe your intelligence by means of a practical test of your capabilities, much as we did for the physical test. I'd like you to explore these ruins and return with your findings. There are two puzzles located at the far ends of the ruins. After completion, you should be able to activate the mechanism in the center. As with the physical test, there are no restrictions. Everything you do is an action I wish to observe. A tried and tested adventurer, I see. So, let's see you in action. Start wherever you like. Oh, it's one of it's these. It's a complex ones, environment, so proceed with caution. Ah, I see you up there. <laughs> there another one? start this one first. I think they just did a puzzle like this just not that long ago. Damn. This is a little off. Sealy like these are a common sight in the mountains. Returning them to their rightful places is up to you. This one really wants me to climb, huh? Really? 
a really yeah fire character. <laughs> Come on out, show them. <laughs> Out. You're not gonna do that. Gotcha. There's one down. Where's the other? Like. There's the other one. <sighs> the one all the way up here. Oh, it's all the way over there, huh? Oh, I actually kind of need these for, uh, the character I have for, uh, Yinglon. Yep. Now I'm gonna do that right now. <sighs> and where'd it go? Oh, it just went to the next one. Nice if I did not eat shit. There you go. <laughs> Character. Seriously. I'm gonna have to climb again, don't I? Okay, character. those guys since I don't have a fire guy. It should now be possible to activate the central mechanism. Exactly what will happen when you do is something I'm looking forward to finding out. The hard way, Wind blade. Gotcha. Show them right now. Emerge with the wind. Orders given, orders received. Go. That worked. that the water level has suddenly decreased. We should be able to see what's in the water now. Let's have a look. Oh. Huh. What's this? To the best of my knowledge, these belong to a script of some kind. They can be found all over Tevat, but they've never given up their secrets. There's still a lot to learn about them. And as for why they should ever have come to rest here, a true mystery. Let me make a copy first. I'll make time to go over them in greater detail after our research. <sighs> Another thing for the don't understand list. Unsolvable mystery this, weird experiment that. It'd be nice to get some cool results for once. Seems like if you want the reward, you gotta pay the price. I've truly gained a lot from all this. 
comparatively. The little reward I can offer is too small to mention. Let me return to the campsite first. By the time you get back, I may just have a fleeting miracle for you to witness. Paimon's kind of looking forward to seeing the result of all this brain ache. Unless you can think of anything better to do, let's head back to the campsite. Not so fast. You're not leaving until I'm convinced that nothing dangerous is going on here. You! You didn't leave the mountain? That was kind of funny. I don't know why Paimon was so displaced, but that was really funny. I most certainly did not. And I've witnessed everything that you and Albedo have been up to. I must say, you let your guards down. Or maybe you were drawn in by his compelling sounding hypothesis and friendly demeanor. Taking orders from a complete stranger? Drinking anonymous potions? Participating in all kinds of strange experiments? I'd sooner believe you were tricked than that you would be so naive. Or perhaps... You were colluding from the beginning. I literally trust trusted Sucrose. So, if you're suspicious of him, you should be suspicious of her and the other guy too. Sister Rosaria's guard's so high she can't even see over the top of it. It doesn't matter what you think. He could be a saint for all you know. But I understand him a little better than you, Outlander. I'm only concerned with one thing. Whether his alchemy has transformed you into something more sinister. No way! Paimon would have sensed it! And anyway, he didn't even use any alchemy! With an alchemist of his level, you wouldn't sense a thing. In any case, I'm not about to let a potential threat back into Mondstadt. So... what are you gonna do? <laughs> I've gotta hand it to you. You have your moments. If I can be sure that nothing you came into contact with is dangerous, that's good enough for me. I've investigated everything else. The only items left on the agenda are these symbols. But we don't even know what they mean. Hmm. That much is true. Not to mention, seems like there's nothing more to them. But for insurance purposes, I'd better make a copy. I deem that you pose no immediate threat. I would have been one very unhappy sister if you'd made me work overtime on your account. Overtime? Before we go our separate ways, Outlander, a word of advice. Don't be so quick to trust Albedo, and don't repeat the same mistakes that you did this time. You made a lot of rash decisions today. I mean... She's gone! So stubborn. We make a lot of rash decisions all the time. What do you mean? We trusted Venti, and then we also fought Storm Terror. Or, uh, his real name. Which is escaping me at the moment. <laughs> Mondstadt doesn't have many people like that. Huh. Never mind her. Let's go see Albedo! I, I definitely got some achievement. Maybe I just maybe it's because I discovered a certain amount of chess and that's why. You're back. Good timing. I've just about reached the conclusion. You took quite a while. Did you get held up on the way back? Uh, I wouldn't worry. She's just doing her job. Time for the results. We got a myriad of data today. And it was very difficult to finish all the research in one go. But the integral preliminary conclusion that I can offer you is... 
You're very much like a human from this world. Oh, I kind of guessed that. We might be from a different world. Doesn't mean all worlds have freaking aliens. You couldn't tell that just by looking? We spent all day working our butts off for that? Please, I understand that this may have seemed self-evident to you. But in fact, nothing in this world should be taken for granted. Have you ever considered that the world of Tevat may have a natural hostility to Outlanders? I mentioned the natural laws of this world. You're able to converse with me here without consequence, and nothing seems amiss. But it's arguably a small miracle. The only other life form that, like you, has come here from afar is the seed that I mentioned. Under the effects of Tavat's natural laws, it isn't even able to sprout, let alone bloom. Well, technically, there's our sister as well, unless he knows something but after I observed you I had another idea imitating you helped to inspire my alchemy and so the transition from nothing into something from shoot to stem and now to fruition is not nurturing otherworldly life also nurturing the world itself? <sighs> it would seem that that's as far as we go. A transient bloom of incomparable beauty. Life's proudest achievement. Paimon thought with all our efforts, it might have bloomed forever. And it didn't even have any fruit. Life is a manifold tapestry of free entities. Its value shouldn't derive from how long it stays with us. Even a momentary burst is precious. A short life can be well lived. A life lived efficiently, lived to perfection, is necessarily one unburdened by loneliness. So, do you understand what I meant about us conversing here arguably being a small miracle? heavy right now. <laughs> Don't be sad. You've got Paimon to look after you. Albedo, Paimon really wants to be your friend. Thank you both. Even if dispelling loneliness is not essential for life, it certainly doesn't hurt. Your help inspired me to discover the means to make a flower bloom. I mean that the time I've spent traveling with you in the mountains was a valuable journey for me. In the future, if the need arises, can I solicit your help again? Which ends up being the Dragon Spire event. Well, glad I can count on you. I made a point throughout of telling him how ordinary the results were. But what was that sediment I saw forming at the bottom of the vial? It should not have been there. What could it mean? Those born of earth are bound by its imperfections, but those born of chalk are free of impurities. You and I are alike, both composed of a substance that has yet to be fully defined. If, one day, I lose control, destroy Mondstadt, destroy everything, can I rely on you to stop me? Yeah. 
Now, there's a little hint of what I was talking about. I'll head over there real fast. <laughs> so, in the Dragon Spy... Which, it kind of sucks that you can't do the Dragon Spire event story anymore, because the story was kind of important to what he just said there. And now he's gone. Same with the other guy. So, to sum up the Dragon Spire event, at least from the cutscenes I've seen, I haven't seen the full cutscenes, but there's a, there was a second Albedo. There was a second one. That one was able to use ice. He normally uses Geo. So, that means something isn't right. And it, that something is, from what he described, he's not human. He's actually a puppet, I think. I think that's what they, they said he was in the event. He's a puppet, and there's two of them. And there was multiple of them. At least two of them that we know. And... Yeah, apparently one of the puppets, I guess, goes out of control and starts attacking, hence the one we see using ice, if you look up the cutscenes. And the fight was between that version of him, Alua, us, Amber, and Bennett. Which is kind of a badass fight. And it ends with him, the Geo one that we know, uh, actually killing his copy. They don't, like, fully show it or anything, but you can kind of tell, like, he literally stabs his copy. I haven't seen the full cutscene, so I don't know what happens after that. But, yeah, he's a puppet. Which is kind of sad. And that's why he's, like, that's why Ros Rosaria's worried about him. And a few others. And I don't know if Sucrose knows that he's a puppet. But I am curious if Sucrose or Rosario were involved in that event. I don't know if they were or not. But that it's very interesting. <sighs> and it sucks that you're able to do this. but And it teases the future. But, you, but new players cannot experience that later part. Because that was during an event... And one of the one of the mini critiques about this game that it teases or not teases, but there's story events that give some backlog to some characters and some more and hell, some characters' stories are behind events like Lila, uh, not Sucros, uh. Official and a few others and the fact that they are is kind of Kind of sucks because that means the only way to look up those character stories or at least get the, like our first Interactions with those characters like Zenyon is to look it up now because those events have passed and you, there's no way to play them anymore And now back over here So yeah Now that that's yeah. over, let's, uh, let's do some, what's it called, uh, commissions. But yeah, I really wish, uh, oh yeah, I need to do this real fast. I really wish they weren't time-gated, or at least the story parts. I wish there was some way to do the story parts of events because even if the event passed, like kind of like the art, like the interlude and stuff. Because even though they're not too impactful on the main story, unless Albedo somehow shows up later on in the main story, if we ever like focus on Monstad again, I do wish there was a way for us to like replay those stories because. Like I said, if there's a story event that is in Mondstadt once again, and it involves 
Albedo and it does reveal his secret, they would either have to rework it like they did with the Balladeers intro, or they would have to uh, summarize it in some way. But, yeah. Also, I'm stopping here because uh, this dude here is how you get one of the crafted or craftable weapons. And this is how you get the bow. What the hell? This is how you get the bow, the craftable bow. And I'm working on that. You have to do it. You have to visit him seven days, and you'll eventually get the blueprint. Are you here to play? Quietly now. I heard you. Where are, are you? The Marrier. Game's up. Time's over. Purging. Transgression. Come on. Uh, right here. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Wheel of life. <sighs> I can't even see what's going on. There's so much. Nothing lasts <laughs> forever. Mirror. What a dreadful ending. Oh, now you've got me worked up. Yeah, that basically summarizes what Albedo is and why it's kind of annoying that you can't do certain events because some events even take place in that one area I was talking about where the serpent is and there's a character that there's like a abyss herald I think in it that I'll never get to fight because he I missed that event faster <laughs> okay <laughs> If I can use my bow, yeah, it would be pretty handy. Quietly now. <sighs> this is a. You put some defense on. I did not expect to be doing this. Let's see if I can... Oh my god, stop freezing me, please. Emerge, right 
here. Just in case if I blew anything else away. Right. Have to wait until they stop pursuing me. That's happening. Something I can do while I'm here. Conscious, right? I need three conscious every time. I freaking need to do this. Luckily, I kind of know where to find them. Like right here. Where sometimes they are, because of course I'm gonna get probably killed because I hate electro dudes because they're annoying. I think that's one right there. Faster? Okay, Getting faster. out of the water because that's just a death waiting to happen. Oh my gosh, please. Give me a conch, please. Oh, I kind of wish there was more ways to heal. Two characters, great. Continue the search I was having. Find these damn conches because <laughs> how are they? Right here, emerge right now.
I wish I knew a better place where these things spawned. There's one. Need two more. Also, uh, I know Hawkeye Impact, or Honkai, I don't know which one is it. Or how to pronounce it, I mean. Uh, I know, I think that one's only PC. But I wonder, like, how it is. Because I've seen some animations of it. And the animations are incredible. I wonder, like, if, how close is that to the actual game? There's two. Okay, don't tell me what I grabbed there. There's three. Ooh, puzzle. Wow. I'll keep this close. That was a guess. Now what is trying to fight me? Where do you guys even come from? Rise. Emerge. Right here. Quietly now. Are you not frozen? There we go. You have to come back one, uh, once a day for seven days. Or you have to come back seven days in order to get all the rewards. And the last reward is the bow. Uh, is the bow. Uh, what's it called? Uh, shit. Blueprint. Also, I have done the side quest that clears this area of the thunderstorm, so hopefully I don't get shocked anymore. Now we're going to do the commissions. See, now it's all peaceful. Ish. Because I believe that... Also, I have started hearing the whispers, by the way. Let's see if I can trigger it. Maybe it's only in the Gendra ones. No, I heard in the monster. I heard in the Amino ones as well. But yeah, I've done. Um. I don't want to trigger that guy. I don't know how to mess with those swords. That sword, by the way. Wind blade. Huh. Disappear. Orders given. Orders received. Gotcha.
show them. Emerge. Life goes on. Mini blade, Barry. I do wonder how to deal with those swords. Yeah, uh, I'll let you do it like that. Cut down. Like this. Wind blade. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Nice. Oh, I hate this one. Again, I don't have the appropriate characters for this. Because you need like a fire character to play me. It'd have been nice if I could actually pull out from the moon. Show them. Right here. Emerge. Oh my god. Stop. Gotcha. Hey. You need to hurry up. You are about to get dicey. <laughs> Come on out. Right now. Right here. I <laughs> I really wish I wasn't using as much food as I am, but this is what happens when you're underleveled a bit. I just have you to deal with it. 
busted. Wheel of life. Show them. Right here. Emerge. Wind blade. Teleporting. Who's this first? This is trouble. That was just the first one, too. I miss all of those. Shit. That is not the right way to go. I was gonna fail it, I don't know.
Now this, I still have yet to finish that one side quest still, because that side quest is a pain in the ass. Maybe having Elon will make it a bit easier though. Like, I still have yet to... Actually, I don't know if this... This island didn't have any signific uh, story significance, so that might have been an extra island, because only these three islands were in the main story. And then I still have yet to figure out how to clear this fog. I had to look it up. This might be a new one. I don't know if I did... I think I did this one before. Yeah, 
You know I'm doing like character stories backwards a bit because you would think people like me doing the Sum Sumeru ones would be the ones that people want to see because those are the newer ones but some people want to see the older ones so that's kind of the reason why I'm doing them uh, some offline some online. Now I have a key, so whenever I can get Sinos and these ones, I don't have many left to do. Only six left to do. And then I will be focusing on doing hangout events. Which I already done some off stream, but I might do some on stream. Like, uh... It really depends on who. Because some characters you only meet in their hangout events. Because I don't know if you meet... F Faru's on outside of hanging out, uh, in an event or anything. Add Astra. Thank you for complete. All right. I think I'll end it there. Got all I wanted to do done. And yeah. Let me level up you real fast. Since I can now. there for now I got all I wanted to do done uh, we did the full albedo story quest and I think I'll do a Lua next in terms of streaming it uh, especially if she does appear in this event that's coming up and I'll probably need to do someone else's I'll need to catch up in a few things as well uh, like I'm doing the whole Samira story off stream right now and some of their character stories like Nihilus and then eventually Sinos and then Nahida and Al Hytham can probably wait but yeah I'll do child at some point as well and then I'll do some hangouts on stream depending on who I want to do and then I don't and then I'll probably do any event that's coming up and then there's some events though I will probably not do because not really significant anyway and then if there's a good gap uh, I will return to God of War probably when there's a good gap of nothing going on in this game I was gonna do video battles, but eh, I'll do those off stream since I did the main story already of it. But yeah. Also, oh, next stream. I hopefully will be back on my three day schedule of th Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday because Lightfall drops Tuesday, and hopefully, depending on the server, that depending on the. If the server is stable enough, I will be starting Lightfall on Tuesday. 
And then maybe Season of the Defiant on Thursday, and then more Lightfall on Saturday. We'll see. We'll see how far I get in Lightfall in f first. But anyway, that'll be it for Genshin today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a good day. See you, in the see you next time.